Hi everyone, welcome to Lanrex Computer Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I want to quickly show us how we can solve um, the question 2 of YX 2021 Computer Studies Practical Question. And um, I will not be wasting much of our time. Let's go straight to the question and start solving it. A supermarket listed 10 items on sale. Use Microsoft Excel application to create an inventory for the supermarket. So we are going to be making use of Microsoft Excel for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is go to my search box and search for Microsoft Excel. I'll be making use of Microsoft Excel 2010 but any version of Microsoft Excel will be okay to tackle this question. So let's go back to the question. The question says that um, we should use the Microsoft Excel to create an inventory for the supermarket. So A says type in the following headings from cells A1 to F1 respectively. Now from cell A1 to F1 we type SN goods cost price selling price gain or loss and target. So let's start. So I have my SN, put it in capital letter, then in cell B1, I'm going to be typing goods, goods. In cell C1, I'm going to be typing cost price. Then D1 selling price, selling price, and in cell E1 I'm going to be typing, I'm going to be typing gain or loss, gain or loss, gain slash loss. In cell F1 I'm going to be typing target, target. So after doing that, you can try widening the cells so that the content of that cell will show clearly. Then move on to the next question. Now what is the next question saying? I haven't done that. B says populate the table by supplying 10 different items sold in a supermarket. 10 different items sold in a supermarket. So that should be typed under goods. So I'm going to reduce this a little bit. One, SN means serial number. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's type in ten different goods sold in a supermarket. As for instance, we have tissue paper, ice cream. Then in the supermarket we have um, we have toothpaste. Now that we have been able to type in all the ten items required, the next thing to do is to go back to the question and check what next we are required to do. Populate the table by supplying ten different items sold in the supermarket. We have done that in column A. Fill in the number. Fill in the numbers one to ten. We have done that. From cells A2 to A11, we have done that. Uh, look at what we just did here 1 to 10 in cell A2 to A11. Then, after that, uh, we have similarly list the 10 items from cells B2 to B11. We have done that. B2 to B11, we have listed that. This is B2 to B11. Now, let's move back to the question. Then supply the cost price and the selling price from cell C2 to C11 and D2 to D11. The selling price and the cost price. Now, we have up here, let's choose the selling price for tissue paper. Let's say 200 Naira. Let's say 200 Naira cost price. Then we have it sold as 250 selling price. And ice cream, let's say. 200 naira as well and we have it sold at 300 naira 
let's say toothpaste which is 500 naira and we have it sold at maybe 520 and let's say beverages which is um, 4000 naira and we have it sold at 4200 let's say shoes which are 6000 naira and we have it sold at 6000 6100 let's say um, let's say bags which is sold at 4500 and we have it sold at 4550 4550 and let's say stationaries which was supposed to be at um, 1000 naira and we have it sold at 1070 naira and let's say drinks which is to be sold at 200 naira and we have it sold at 300 let's say envelope which is supposed to be sold at um, um, maybe 200 naira we have it sold at 220 and let's say lastly clothes which is to be sold at um, um, 5000 naira and we have it sold at um, 5500 then having done that the next thing we should now do is we should um, now look at the next question so the next question says that note that it is possible to have some selling prices lower than the cost price create borders around the table so we can try to have some selling prices lesser than cost price for instance let's just pick some like stationary let's make the selling price 980 let's pick another two this one let's make it 480 and let's make maybe this one 49 so let's just do that uh, then let's go back to the question then the question we have used formula or function to calculate the gain if the selling price is higher than the cost price or the loss if the cost price is higher than the selling price of each of the item in e2 to e11 so how do we do this you go to e2 this is e2 you start your formula by typing the equal sign uh, gain or loss is calculated by um, using your selling price selling price minus the cost price and you strike your enter key here i have 50 which is gain if it is a loss it's going to be a minus so i drag it down from the left corner of my of my cell let me do that once again you put your mouse at the left left bottom corner left i mean the right bottom corner of your cell and you drag it down you hold down the mouse button and drag it down till you get to the last cell this will help you to copy in all the formula the formula from cell e2 to the rows or to the cells below now we have um, all the formula copy and we have gotten the answers for other cells where you have minus it means you are running at a loss of 20 naira here you run as well of 20 naira and we are running at a loss of 100 naira here so let's move back to the question and see the next step we are supposed to take now the next step is to determine whether target is met or not by typing target met or target not met in cells h2 to h11 so in cell h2 let's make h2 remark let's make it remark so we have to type target met or target not met now how do we get this done we are giving a note that target is met when the selling price is 110 percent of the cost price or more when the selling price is 110 percent of the cost price so let's go back and type our formula now you put your equal sign now you put your if open bracket eh? target is met if the selling price is equal to or greater than is greater than or equal to 10 percent of the cost price 10 percent so 110 percent of the cost price and you now open your bracket you say 110 110 percent is 110 slash 100 another way of typing 110 is 110 slash 100 that's 110 percent uh -huh. of the cost price then you put off is multiply then the cost price we click the cell on the same line that's on the same row then that means if 
d2 which is the selling price is is greater than or equal to 110 percent of the cost price then target is met that means so the answer of three is what target met target met but, or if that is not true that means target not met so you put target not met meaning that if that statement is not met target not met so what this formula means that if d2 which is the selling price is greater than or equal to 10 percent of the cost price which is c2 target is met but if not otherwise target not met after typing in the formula then you strike your enter key so now i'm getting an error because i did not close the i didn't close the um the bracket for the 100 percent 110 percent of the cost price so i'm going to close that i've done that and i strike my enter key now we can see what we are getting in showing us targets made let's drag this copy this formula down by holding our mouse or at the left right corner of this I mean that's the bottom right corner of the cell then you drag downward until you get the last cell so you can see for each of the products is showing us the one that made target and the one that did not meet target so the target is that the selling price should be up to 110 percent of the cost price for this good now toothpaste and uh, the selling price is not meeting up even though the selling price here on beverages is higher than the cost price yet target was not met because it was not getting to 100 percent so you can see the comments that are being displayed so having done this then the next thing to do is move to the next question the next question says insert a footer and type in your full name and index number insert a footer type in your full name and index number so you come over here and you come to page layout when you get to page layout you want to insert footer um this is how to do that click here you have the page layout view or you come to view and click on the page layout view so when you click on the page layout view it will be easy to get your footer now I can see that part of my work is moving to the next cell so what I'm going to do is I'm trying to hide this cell so that everything can be on one cell I want everything to be on one page so I want to walk around the footer and the header now so I'm going to put my move downward of document the page and I get then click here to add the footer so you now type in your full name mm -hmm. Abanishe Abanishe Kolapo Jaye Ola. So if that's your full name, then you put in your your index number, which my so which will be given to you by Wayek. After doing this, the next thing to do is to go back to the question and check. So let's go back to the question and check for the next thing we are expected to to do now don't forget um we have not been able to calculate our target here um, because we are doing have not um we need to calculate the target too that's an omission so the target here is um, 10 percent of the cost price so how do we get the target that's equals uh, 10 percent which is 110 over 100 asterisk cost price enter so normally this is 10 percent 220 percent so you can drag this downward you understand so this is how to get the target so this one if you have actually used this apply this formula you can do this in another way another way of getting this is just to type equal sign you put your if open the bracket and you just say that what if selling price what is greater than or equals to target mm -hmm. then you can just put your target met target not met not met so that is another way of typing the formula then you close your bracket and enter so you are still going to get the same answer 
you can see the formula that I applied here from the instead of using the order will because I've already calculated the the target so those that is um, an alternative way of getting in and you can also copy that downward and you get your answer correctly now let's move back to the question and see the next thing we are supposed to do as opposed to save our work in a folder created on the desktop using our full name let's go back go and click on file then you click on save I've not saved my work if you are making use of a desktop computer, I will advise you to save always in, the, in an interval of two minutes or one minute in, because of power failure in power supply. Uh, then, um, if you are using a laptop, you still have an edge, but try to save in an interval of five ten minutes because anything can happen so that your work can be preserved. So we are supposed to type um, our full name, which is what Abanishe. So I'm just using this name, that's not my name, Abanishi Kolako. Kolako. Then in a folder, we are asked to save it in a folder. Let me create a folder. I'm already on the desktop. I call it, let me call it. I normally I would advise you to save use your name to open the folder. As in use your name as the name of the folder. Abanishi. Then you double click and save your work inside the folder. So having done with that, let's move to the next question. The next question says print your work showing formulas and functions and submit to the supervisor. That is the next thing to do. Now to show the print your work showing formulas and functions, uh, you just show the functions and the formula. You can just type target and the formula is um, 110 slash 100 asterisk cell reference mm. if open bracket cell, cell reference um, to greater than or equal to target mm. then we have comma target met target not target not met so those are the two formulas we used so I haven't done it like this you just go over and click on print file then print you make sure that every part of your work is showing or better still if you want to make this to be in a, in a in a proper border you can create a border around your work I think it's also stated in the question to create a border around your work mm, so create a border around your work by clicking on the border icon here you select all border then having done that you go back to save then you go to file and you print you can see now the border is showing the formulas are showing and down here you have your your name and your index number you set your printer to the name of the printer that you are using then you set you don't don't bother yourself about this leave it on active sheets and click on print when you do that your script will be printed out for you and you can submit to your supervisor so we come to the end of paper 2 i mean question 2 of y 2021 computer studies practical see you in question 3 don't forget before you go that an honest student is an asset to a nation shun examination malpractice See you in the next video. Bye-bye.